everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby Kumar. On this channel, I share with you my journey as a full-time entrepreneur and also a full-time single mom, sharing motherhood and entrepreneurship tips and hoping to inspire and motivate you along the way. So please don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow along. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get that $5,000 iMac Pro look on a single mom, full-time entrepreneur budget. So if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen that very appealing display of that iMac or iMac Pro um, office setup where you've maybe seen it in Pinterest photos or you've seen it in many, many, many <laughs> YouTube um, videos as a backdrop or a back background. And you've probably thought to yourself, I need to get one of those. I need that sitting in my office. And there's only one itty bitty problem that you may have came across. And that is the problem. Yes. The iMac Pro right now starts at about almost $5,000 and can go up to $15,000 from what I saw when I Googled it. And then to get the lesser version, which is just the iMac, you're going to spend at least $1,300 you know, plus, depending on how you customize it. And I don't know about you, but that is not in my budget. Not now, maybe in the future, but currently that's just not in my budget. So if you want to know exactly how I got that $5,000 iMac Pro look for less than $200, stick around. So step one, the first thing you're going to need is a computer, and that could be your laptop or, you know, a desktop. And I already had a MacBook Pro, so that's what I'm going to use. Now, mind you, my laptop is actually pretty old. It's an early 2011 MacBook Pro. It's so old that Apple actually told me that um, they can no longer assist me. They said, no, sis, we can't help you any longer. <laughs> um, so they want me to get a new laptop. But what I did with mine is I actually upgraded um, the memory and also the storage. And if you wanna know how I did that, that's like a whole nother video, it's more technical. Um, just let me know and I'll do another video on that. It's actually not as difficult as it seems. But so since I did that, my older version laptop does work as it is like a newer laptop right now. So my recommendation to you is if you already have a laptop or a, um, a desktop computer, use that so you can save on cost. So for me, this cost me zero dollars because I already had a laptop to use. And you can use a Mac or Windows for this. But of course, if you must or need to buy a new laptop or a new desktop computer, then it is going to cost you a little bit more than um, that $200. All right, so step two, the next thing you'll need is the monitor. And um, I chose to get the 27 inch monitor. And the one I'm using is by HP, and I found it on Amazon, as I do with most of my stuff. And 27 inches is the largest you can get of the iMac. They have, I think, smaller versions, but this is the biggest screen, and that's what I went for. And when I bought this, it actually was about $129.99. It is currently now, as of today, $154.99. So the price did go up a little bit than when I bought it a couple weeks ago but you're welcome to shop around, see if you find anything better for you or that's um, less costly. For me, I wanted this just because it was the one that looked the most, um, it was the one that looked the most like sleek and I liked how thin the monitor was. So that is what I went with and I thought it was actually pretty good for the price. So the cost to me was about $130. All right, so step three is connecting your new monitor to your current laptop and you're going to need like an HDMI adapter cord for this. So pay attention here because I made this mistake and maybe I can save you some hassle. When I bought it, I bought an HDMI USB, um, HDMI to USB adapter. And that will work if you have a Windows computer, but if you have a Mac laptop, then you need um, the mini port display to HDMI cord. And I'll link that below along with everything else that I've used. And luckily, you know, the one I bought initially didn't cost me too much and the one that I actually needed was about $10. So it wasn't like a costly mistake, but you can save yourself some time because I almost like pulled my hair out trying to figure out why my laptop wasn't displaying on this screen. So the cost for me on this is about $10. All right, so the next thing you'll need, you know, once you've connected your laptop to the monitor is you're going to need um, a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. If you'd like to keep your laptop closed, this is going to be a necessity. So what I got was one that was on Amazon and it was a set, it was about $17. And um, I only actually needed a keyboard because I had a wireless mouse already. But strangely enough, it was actually cheaper to buy the set, the mouse and the keyboard. So now I have two mice, mice, mouses. <laughs> but now I have two of those. And I like this one. I like that it was like small, it was compact, and it was um, also very thin. 
So the only thing I didn't like about this is that it makes like this clicking sound when I type. And I was used to my Mac, when I type, it made no sound. It was actually pretty silent. And I don't know if it's just all Mac computers like that or if it was just the keyboard protector I have on it. But that's the only drawback from this keyboard. And I did look into um, purchasing like an actual Apple keyboard, but they were about $100. And I'm fine with just using the less than $20 version. Oh, and if you do get this keyboard, Here's one thing I couldn't figure out, and I know I feel pretty dumb about it now, but the window symbol that is on the keyboard is the command key. I couldn't figure that out for the life of me until it took, well, I did figure it out. It just took me a few days. So um, if you have um, a Mac laptop and you're using this keyboard, just know that that Windows key that you see there is going to be the command key. All right, and then step five is the digital clock screensaver. And this step is not a necessity, it's just if you want to get that full iMac look. And really, is your iMac really an iMac without that digital clock display? You be the judge. No, no, I'm just kidding. But this is something I wanted, I've seen it, you know, around for as long as I've had a Mac, I've never used a screensaver, but I've seen it in um, many photos and um, a lot of people's videos. And it's actually just an app. And I believe it's called Flicko or Flicko. I'm not sure how you say it, but it's F-L-I-Q-U-O, and it is a free app, and you can download this for either Mac or for Windows operating system, and um, once you download it, you install it, and then you just set that as your screensaver. You can choose between 12 hours or 24 hours, and it's up to you, but it is a free app, and um, it just gives you that final look, the altogether look of the iMac. So one other thing, remember I told you my laptop is like an older version? So when I downloaded the current version of this app, the digital screensaver, I mean the digital clock screensaver, it didn't really work for my laptop. So I had to find an older version, which was the solution for me. Found an older version, downloaded that, and that works well now. So if you have an older Mac or just an older laptop, you may need to look into downloading the, um, the older version, which looks to me just the same. So that right there cost me zero dollars. So that's it. So now you know how to get that Apple iMac look on a budget. For less than $200, you can get this look. So I've linked everything below. I think for me, it cost me about $157. So while we're over here, I just wanted to add that I have put up my vision board and I made a couple of changes to my office, home office setup. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it um, below and also above in the corner on the card so you can take a look at it. But this is what it looks like currently. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful to you at all, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, like I said, I do content on motherhood and entrepreneurship, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll catch you next time. Bye.